Hey guys, welcome to another review. Uh, today, I decided on doing one review, mainly because I'm going to have a real busy week ahead, and I don't know when I'm going to get to do anything else for a while. So in this review, I'm going to do a test product called Zen OK Antivirus, I guess. And um, this is a free product. I went and downloaded it. Really what they do is they give you this free antivirus, which if I remember right is is using the Bitdefender engine. Um, and the first time I tried it out, it was so bad that I didn't even bother to do a review on it. It just stunk that much. So it's been about six months since I last looked at it, so I decided to look at it again. Now this is version 2011, I guess. Okay, here we go, 1.0.7. This is the newest one that I got off of their website. And um, if you want hourly updates, you have to register. I'm not going to register because I just updated it nine minutes ago, ten minutes ago, something like that. And really what they do is they give you this free antivirus and then they try to push the backup on you. Uh, it's a paid, the backup is paid service. So you get this uh, weird little antivirus here. It doesn't have any uh, options really. It's, it's And it found one thing, a locked file, great. And um, it's got some system information here. Some temperature for my hard drive which is non-existent. <laughs> You get some kind of warranty here, terms and conditions, and the status. That's really all there is to it. So let's see how it works. I got, I think, 10 links here, something like that. And they're all fresh. Just got them probably, I don't know, five or 10 minutes ago. Should have been an exploit if I remember right, but maybe it's not working anymore. That's all right. We'll keep going here. Okay, that's two and nothing. That one's a bigger file, so I'm going to wait on that one. Okay, so far not a peep. No pop-ups, no nothing. I can almost guarantee you there is a ton of stuff going on around in the background. Yeah. Uh, let's see what we got here. Yeah, there's some stuff floating around that shouldn't be. Let me see if the proxy just got changed. Not there. No, nope, that means that website's just not working anymore. Let me run the last two here. So it says so far that it's found nothing. It's 
very, very weird. So now, uh, give me one second, I'm going to grab my testing tool so I can kill any of the weird active processes. Be right back. Okay, so I grab my uh, testing tools here. I'm going to open up a uh, kill switch from Komodo, and we'll see if there's anything weird running around in the background. Okay, so there's nothing weird running in memory right now. So that's good. So then I'm going to do a scan. I'm going to start a full system scan. So I will pause the video, and I'll be back when this is done. We'll see how long it takes. It's scanning the registry right now. So I'll be back. Okay guys, so it finished scanning here and it says it found 38 infected items or 38 other items. Okay. So I guess it quarantined them so I can hit close. Let's see here. Oh, it didn't find anything. It says file locked. So that's that's all it found. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open up my testing tools and I'm going to first start out with cleaning essentials here and we'll see what it finds. So I'm going to pause the video. Whenever this thing pops up, it takes a little bit for it to open up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a full scan. And uh, I'll be back with the results of the full scan when this is done. So I'll see you then. Okay, guys. So uh, Cleaning Essentials found seven things. Let's see what I found here. Found some temporary internet files. I found a DLL file in this KO folder. It's unclassified malware. I found um, a Trojan sitting in port wex exe.exe and they found another temporary internet file so I'm gonna clean all these out it's gonna ask me to reboot <clears throat> I'm gonna reboot and then I'm gonna run um, CCleaner I should probably should have done that first but that's alright and then I'm gonna run um, Malwarebytes so I'll be back with the results for Malwarebytes Okay, so Malwarebytes finished scanning, and it looks like it found four more things. Um, okay, it found that folder, and it found a configuration file, a bin file, and it found a couple of registry keys here that have been changed. Part of that portware.exe trojan, just a spyware apparently. So it's, I'm going to remove all those. I'm not going to reboot because nothing was active in memory. And let me do a scan with Hitman Pro and I'll be right back. Okay, so Hitman Pro finished scanning here. And part of that KO uh, Heaven Fire 2 folder that got extracted to my desktop. I guess there were a couple more files in there. There was a loader.exe that's part of a Trojan. And there was a DLL that was uh, part of a Trojan dropper, I guess. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do, because I know what they're called, I'm going to find them and delete them. Because I don't want to activate Hitman Pro for no reason. And because I have the time I'm going to run a scan with these two guys too. I'm going to run a scan with Norton Power Eraser just to see if it finds anything else. And then I'm going to run a scan with Super Anti Spyware. So I'll be back with the results. Okay. <clears throat> Norton Power Eraser finished scanning here. And it didn't find anything. 
So I am going to do my last scan with Super Anti Spyware and we'll see if that finds anything. So I'll be right back with the results from that. Okay, so Super Anti Spyware finished scanning and it didn't find anything. So let me wrap this up here. What can I say about Zen OK? Well, first off, the user interface, while simplistic in looks, it's kind of messed up. Like, I can't click on anything here, but it looks like I should be able to. Then you have this more info thing that you have to register. Uh, apparently, I would bet these change only when you have a problem. The little tabs here are kind of interesting, I guess. Um, you can snooze the scanner, I guess. Um, you can check out your quarantine stuff or whatever it found if you want to see your details. So we can see, you know, on these things. Um, it's a little bit confusing. It, it's too many bright colors. Um, many oddball places of things I, I would guess you know it, it just feels kind of weird to me the way the setup of the user interface is, is done and it is actually pretty heavy on the system not only in memory usage this is a um, let's see we got these three so that's what 16 megs and then we have that on access scanner that's 41 so you're looking at 50 megabytes at least for something that really doesn't have a lot of options um, and didn't seem to do that well of a job personally I left behind a decent amount of infections and when I did run that a program it didn't give me a pop-up saying oh yes we found that infection and we removed it, quarantined it, or whatever you know I just kinda stayed silent the whole time which is kind of I don't know, it's kind of annoying. Is it working? Is it not working? If it's doing that. Um, so, I mean, you can play with it if you want, but I think there's much better free security software out there than Zen OK. Much, much better. Really, I think their antivirus is more of a thing to try to get you to buy their backup service where, you know, you spend, you know, they offer some weird like um, if you were to back up and you well I have to register but you know they offer this backup service through their uh, whoops I think I moved the whole window my fault I didn't spell that right Or if you go to their website here, you'll see that uh, you know they do, they offer you this uh, free antivirus and data loss protection. That's really what they're trying to get you to buy, you know, with their so-called hundred thousand dollar warranty. And um, if you enroll now, So far, I've clicked three times to enroll now, and it has yet to take me to the page to enroll now. And this is the fourth page. So, I guess you have to give them how much your data is worth to you. That That's just kind of weird. So, let's say a thousand. So it would cost you $34 to buy their so-called data loss coverage. Which is kind of weird. I've never seen anybody work like that. And you see how their web page is formed here. Um, they're, I, I don't know. I personally wouldn't buy from this company. I mean, I'm pretty sure they're okay. But there's definitely other better better places to buy backup protection for and antivirus software. I'd like to know, I think, if I remember right, they're, they're based out of China. Now, don't quote me on this, but that's what I remember. 
but that's it for this review hope you guys enjoyed it and seeing as the website isn't working yeah see it's doesn't want to let me go to about us hope you guys enjoyed this review and uh, I'll go upload the file everybody take care and have a good week